Hello everyone, uh, I'm Gabriel Riel and this is the Rising Actors Show. Today is Sunday, March 4th, 2018. The topic of the day will be, uh, to title it, uh, well, I haven't thought of the exact way to title it, but it will be talking about how they're twisting the word UFO into UAP now, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. But, no. UAP, no, that's got to go. Um, UFO, you know. Uh, yeah, people, a lot of a lot of people scoff at the word UFO. But they'll scoff at it more at the other word UAP. So, uh, UFO. Um, a lot of people say, oh, it's all satanic, it's all uh, demonic. Um, but it just basically means unidentified flying object. Doesn't mean that uh, UFO doesn't mean spaceships flying saucers with extraterrestrials in them, uh, deformed looking monsters. That's not what UFO means. It means unidentified. So having the word still has that mysticism, that magic to it. So we should never replace the word UFO with UAP. I mean, come on. Throw that acronym out the window. So, where's UAP? It's horrible, horrible acronym. UFO. Um, <clears throat> now, of course, my theory is UFOs are apparitions. Uh, so, that will be the talk of the day. I don't know. I like saying talk of the day. <laughs> and this is the topic of the day. I don't know. You should say talk of the day. I know it doesn't sound right when you think of it, but it sounds nice at first. <laughs> Let's see. First news story, Iceman Wim Hof undergoes new brain scans. He once immersed himself in ice for one hour and 44 minutes. It's not good, like, uh, they're blank. People that keep put, uh, testing their, their lives. Um, I know a lot of people like it, but, uh, but he has his good sides and bad sides as well, so. Always, uh, and you, Chris Angel, you know, um, they shouldn't be risking their lives. <clears throat> and they seem to, uh, you know, with the heavy metal music and all, you know, it's like it gets too dark, you know. You know so, I mean, yeah, I do like the good aspects of it. But people should not be testing their lives like this, they should not be tempting fate. If they die from all this, they may be doomed to hell. Uh, let's see here. He ran. He once ran a marathon in the snow, wearing nothing but his shorts. You know. I mean, again. Uh, immersed, uh, a snow immersed up to his neck in ice for almost two hours. These people are <clears throat> really, really dumb. The things people do for money, publicity stunts, is so wrong. It's an abomination, it truly is. Okay, enough of this. Enough of this wacko. Let's see here. Um, <laughs> next story. I hate the love. Come on. Independent Order of Exorcists run online. And demon busting service as Vatican faces mounting demand. So it sounds like modern day Ghostbusters. <laughs> modern day Ghostbusters. Isn't that funny? <laughs> oh man. The Vatican. Uh, Vatican is facing mounting demand to increase their exorcists. That's pretty fun. Pet cloning is not just for celebrities anymore, huh? Now they're gonna try to make pet cloning cheaper now. Uh, let's see here. Uh,
<sighs> Let's see here. So they're saying all people of all genres. I mean, you don't want to call it genre. All people of all categories. Genre is just for music. All people of all categories and all backgrounds are starting to clone their own stuff. So they say they want to make it cheaper when more people start paying into it. $50,000 a pop truly is an abomination. This 13 foot robot costs over a hundred million. Another abomination. To develop and looks like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. You know, these, these, these evil, greedy, rich people need to be stopped. They make it look like, uh, you know, like the robots in, uh, <coughs> yeah, Robocop, the big neck one. I mean, it looks like some Transformers, some, uh, Power Rangers stuff, you know? <coughs> <coughs> so, it's getting out of hand, man. They are spending too much money on stupid stuff. I hope God puts an end to all this madness soon and returns, amen. Hallelujah. I guess that's my catch line. I've been saying a lot. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I mean, it's just basically just two words combined, but I say a lot. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't want to say too much, you know? Porsche could build flying taxis. Says sales chief. I heard Uber wanted to do this also. <clears throat> there's a theory that there's a ban on flying cars because the government don't want them crashing into buildings. Well, you could say, then just put some anti-crashing uh, technology on the buildings. If it can't shoot it down, then net it. You know, there's all kinds of things. So, allow flying cars and allow defense on the buildings. Simple as that. Chick-fil-A goes above and beyond to return this mother's lost purse. <clears throat> <coughs> Lubbock, Texas, they're actually running after the person. Three hours later, oh my god. Stupid news. I try really not to read too much of stupid news. I mean, yeah, it's a, a, a good laugh, you know, but I don't read too much into the news. I, I just, you know, I like the, the main important news, the, the exciting news. Exciting news that just returned. Hallelujah. Let's see here. Uh, Dolly Parton. <clears throat> what? What happened here? Dolly Parton celebrates donating a million books of charity. The next story. West Virginia teachers will strike uh, for eighth day after legislative impasse. So they're protesting to raise minimum wage. And they, they make less than minimum wage. It's really bad, you know. So we got to support the teachers. Uh, joining them in protests and all kinds of things. Uh, <clears throat> next story. Florentina Captain uh, dies of sudden illness at 31. Yeah. Let's see if I can see what that. He's a soccer player. Let's see if I can find what that illness is. And he in Italy. Died of cardi cardio circulatory arrest. Kind of like heart attack, but a little bit different. Circulatory. Yes, that's where it regulates the blood and stuff. So much stuff wrong with our bodies. That's why Jesus is gonna return, and bring us to everlasting perfection. Hallelujah. So if you die, I want you all to know, hang on a little bit longer. Our Lord is returning, and you may see him before you pass away, amen? So you won't have to die. You won't have to feel the pain and the fear and your family go through mourning. 
Jesus is going to return and put an end to all of it. Hallelujah. Next story. South Korea sending high-level delegation of Pyongyang. So this is, this is prophecy. Big news here. South Korea is sending uh, people to North Korea to try to do this de uh, diplomatically. Now, this could backfire. And, uh... <coughs> <coughs> For all we know, this right here could look like the movie, uh... Mars Attacks. Remember where the aliens land down and this guy, he releases a dove, he says, They came in peace. And the aliens see the dove flying at them, they shoot the dove, and that's when it starts a war. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, yo, for real, this is serious. But at the same time, I'm making light of it, making a joke in spite against uh, Kim Jong Un, because he is evil. So, South Korea is going, sending their uh, diplomats to make peace. They're going to send out the dove, and Kim Jong Un is a hideous beast, like uh, a, a deformed clone. Uh, extraterrestrial looking big head big eye and all and he's gonna zap the the dove that South Korea extends out and you know it can trigger World War 3 here also <clears throat> it's pretty funny you know Kim Jong Un is very evil and uh, I hope we don't have to go to war but if we have to then, we, then if that's what it takes the military they take him out I hope the people of North Korea can rise up and protest him out like they did in uh, Egypt. But it's hard because look at um, China now. Where's the people uh, protesting against the president of China wanting him to be king for life? Because uh, they're scared because if they try um, protesting and try forcing him out, uh, Xi Jinping, president of China, will just assassinate him. So, Kim, um, uh, <coughs> Xi Jinping, president of China, Made himself king for life. Um, he needs to repent, man. If he doesn't repent soon, then God is going to strike him with the curse. And last article. Uh, the best marathon. Wait. Sir Roger Bannister dies at 88. He was first person to run a mile in under four minutes. I mean, why are you going to do something stupid like this when you're 88 years old? Why are you going to be the first person to run a mile in under four minutes? That guy's just asking for it. It's basically like he committed suicide by running to death. Especially at that age, you know, so... I don't know. Can you believe the world is this crazy? I can't believe it, but it's true. The world is really crazy. So now we'll go ahead and unmute the music and uh, get into the topic of the day. <clears throat> topic of the day. So UAPs. That is such a stupid, stupid acronym. We need to get rid of that acronym. As you can see there, today I'm drinking a snow cone. This is a small size cup. Uh, I saw them in the big size cup with the, what's it called, the styrofoam. But this is a, the smaller one, you know, and fill it to the top. And uh, it looks like liquid, but you still got a lot of ice here. Shaved down good to where it's not too crunchy. Just the right amount. So, um, cheers, everyone. Uh, I know this show's so funny because I'm bringing new stuff out every day. One day I have um, a cup like this, the Cowboys. Uh, next day I have, you know, water bottles. Next day I have, you know, Powerade Zero. You know, I, mean, I got all this stuff here. You know. And I always get heartburn all the time. I'm always having to take these things. I have taken too many of them. I have taken, seriously, I hate to say hundreds of these bottles over the years. So, no, I wish I could say no more of these antacids to stop the heartburn. But, you know... <clears throat> I have a really bad ulcer, and um, it makes me cough a lot, and so much heartburn, and I take all this medicine, like uh, ne Nexium, I mean, I'm not talking bad against any uh, medicine here, but um, Nexium just don't do it for me. Uh, also, I take different kinds of Rantadine and stuff, like Zantac, but a little better, and um, so, you know, 
um, it's bad because it just masks the problem. It doesn't really fix it. Uh, and I can get surgery, but it's too dangerous. And it worsens. It uh, it worsens the stitches. They start to deteriorate, and um, it comes back again. You know, the ulcer comes back again. So uh, surgery is not the answer. Also, so if you're considering surgery for an ulcer, I would say not to do it. Only if you're like uh, coughing up blood. Only if it's like the worst worst case, uh, life or death. I mean. Who's to know when this is life or death? I'm straight off topic here, but I just wanted to mention that real quick. So UAPs, man. That is a, uh, a dumb acronym. Uh, so people you know start saying, oh, yeah, yeah, have you heard of the new AP? The, have you heard of the new UAP? And uh, You know, uh, uh, UAP stands for Unident Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, and that is so stupid. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think Hillary said one time that she brought up that, that word, the acronym UAP. And I'm not sure if she was uh, in favor of that acronym. I think she talked to Jimmy Fallon or someone like that. <coughs> <coughs> and she just brought it up that people are starting to call it that now. And it, it's such a stupid acronym, so let us stick to the original acronym UFO. I know the word UFO gets a lot of flag people laugh at that one as well, but they laugh at the word UAP more, you know, so UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, is a very, very dumb acronym. And if I could get into a little bit more, if you'd say to these people they, they don't know what it means and you have to explain it and just, they forget what it means, no, no. Uh, See, when people hear the acronym UFO, they think automatically a flying saucer with an alien and all. And um, we need to tell everyone, it's hard to get the word out, that UFO does not mean a flying saucer with an alien in it. That's what everyone's assumed it means nowadays, you know, so. A lot of people don't think of this theory that UFOs could be apparitions. From God. Yes, demons may try to show their own. But God is going to bring forth signs like crosses of light. Uh, great signs and mighty wonders like it said in the Bible. And not the ones that said that false prophets will bring down. These ain't going to be fire from the sky that false prophets bring down. Now, it's weird because these orbs kind of do look like fire, you know. But we're going to see way more powerful stuff besides orbs. For too long, orbs have been like the norm and... The main thing people see. And the the time for orbs is over. Now there's going to be um, greater signs like seeing Jesus and God appearing in the clouds. Illuminating at night as well. We're going to be seeing huge big signs. And it's not going to be UAPs, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. No, they're going to be powerful UFOs, apparitions from God. Not flying saucers with aliens in them. So, we'll go ahead and end the topic there. And we'll do uh, two, three EVPs. Let's kind of crunch it in now. Crunch it in like this snow cone. <laughs> um, so, this show, very exciting, you know. I'm going to try to bring new stuff in every day, you know. Make the show interesting. Um, okay, so here we go. Okay, here, let me see. What is going on? Something's glitching. Something's glitching. Ah, uh, I... I hate technology. Don't you hate technology sometimes, man? Why does technology not work sometimes, man? God. <clears throat> you see, the technology in heaven is going to be perfect. I'm telling you, technology in heaven is going to be... Oh, man. It's going to be the best. Here we go. 
Are you all ready to hear the angels of the Holy Spirit? <clears throat> okay, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. On this phone, we have. <sighs> Let's see here. Um, it says, <coughs> <coughs> "Oh my God, coughs." Ah, let's see here. It says, "Uh, yo, what? Let's see if I can make this brighter." Really. I hope it doesn't remove the EVP I just got. Okay. It says, <laughs> what? <coughs> this makes no sense, man. <laughs> Displaying the new photo like my leg furniture or my furniture leg. Now, it's weird because a lot of sofas have the little leg on the bottom that has the furniture lifted up. So this is what, what are you saying, ghosts? I want to hear the angels of the Holy Spirit here. I want to receive powerful predictions, amen, like I have had before. What does this mean here? <coughs> um, man, displaying the new photo like my furniture leg. Okay, that makes no sense at all. Hopefully we can have, find meaning to all this. Um, this one has Landino, Caravan, Flavoredness, Generated, Assuming, Vitriol, Dental Chub. So, um, Caravan. I got some Spanish Caravan by the Doors. It's a very great song. Flavoredness, Generated, Assuming, Vitriol. Um, uh, I don't know what this means, man. Let's see here, we'll go and do two more. Now, I hate waiting for these EDPs to finish, but it's so worth it. Because I hate this silence that it takes just to record it. <coughs>
Okay. This phone, we have the words Durango Comfort Consistory Gunpowder Estates Gallant Franciscan and Punch. Now, Durango's a street <coughs> here in El Paso. <coughs> <coughs> where they tried tearing down um, what's it called that word ancient not ancient but like um, antique what do you call a building that's antique uh, I forgot that word they they tore down a, a historic historic buildings big protests and everything man. <coughs> um, <coughs> comfort I guess for their fancy uh, hotels, and they are really building hotels. So, consistatory gunpowder, uh, is that talking about what? Uh, rioting, uh, protests, estates, more expensive houses, galant, and Franciscan punch. Now, Franciscan is like, there's a Pope, Francisco, and Franciscan is something to do with church, maybe? I don't know, it's weird. So, we'll go ahead and do one more on this one. Before we do, we get the words here on this phone. It says, Do everything new and relax, Edith. Do everything new, relax, Edith. Well, like this show, it may seem like it's the same format every day, but I hope you all see like it's exciting, you know. I run down the news, bring it to you the best way. Um, I uh, get interesting... Uh, important, powerful topics every day, and these EVPs hopefully will see predictions, and I try to cram it all in. Pretty minute show, so we'll go ahead and do one more. We'll call it night. Can't wait to get my live streaming back up after three months, and hopefully by that time I can um, more money in AdWords. Hopefully I can uh, have the thousand subscriber goal. And uh, start monetization of the video, start making money off YouTube. That's the hope, the dream. We're not doing this to get rich so I could buy yachts and mansions. No. I want to use this money uh, to bring Jesus a return. Okay, this phone we have words. <laughs> what? Oh, this stuff is funny, man. <laughs> what? Okay, what? Uh, fix about the rocking boat, or fix the rocking boat about? What? What in the world, man? I know it seems like gibberish, and it seems like it's all nonsense, and all this is dumb, but <clears throat> hopefully I start to find out what all this means every day, and maybe it applies to you also. Who knows, man? Hopefully, you know, we find what all this means. So, what about fixing a rocking boat? Um, Titanic. Uh, this phone we had the word Spice Victorious. Boz? B U A Z E? Resign in Tedium. 
Uh, something is a spice is victorious in Boz. Uh, who's going to resign? What? And then tedium. Tedium. Oh, man. <clears throat> All these ain't like the ones that I heard that said uh, Portland Bomb Empire. That was oh about maybe a couple days before the Florida shooting. It's weird because it happened in, as you all know, Parkland. Parkland sounds like Portland. Parkland, Portland. Parkland, Portland. And bomb. He had smoke bombs on him. Empire. The school was called uh, Marjorie Stoneman. And on the Stonemans were the Masons. So there's the clear connection link. When I first heard it, I thought, okay, something's going to happen in um, Portland, Oregon. Or there's Portland, England. So I was thinking, okay, something's going to happen. Something's going to happen in Portland, Portland. And they just it heard the name wrong. But it was more or less it. So now when I hear something like that, I'm going to be trying to rhyme the words together. That's the only one I've received recently of this year that's like spot on of I could have prevented I feel bad man I feel like yo if I would have got it more on I could have prevented that shooting it's like when uh, so many people knew about it you know so <clears throat> we'll go ahead and end the show there and uh we'll call it a night please like share subscribe please tell everyone you know to like share and subscribe I really need your help everyone please uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, the signs are coming. Hallelujah. God bless you all.